Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of a different thing. I'm going to be doing my makeup with the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Palette. I'm just going to be doing my eye makeup. You guys already saw my 5 minute everyday makeup routine. If not, I'll put it here in the card and I'll link it in the description box down below. But basically I'm just going to do my everyday 5 minute makeup and then I'm just going to focus on my eye makeup. Today I will be doing my brows. I might be using a few different products than I normally normally do and I will link them all in the description box down below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I already put on my concealer, my powder, and my bronzer. We'll go ahead and start with the eye makeup. I will walk you through what I do. So I'm going to first grab a crease brush and I'm using the one from Wet n Wild, which is $1. I usually put on some concealer on my eyes as well as just regular dry powder. So I, I used my MAC Studio Fix powder on my eyes to create like a nice base. And then we are going to grab Aura here in the matte for Formula. I am going to be putting that all over my lid just to even it out and then we are going to go ahead and grab Soothe here. I'm using again the Wet n Wild crease brush to create a nice contour for my eye. So if you can see I've created, uh, I've put it all over my crease and I've buffed it out so that it's more intense in the corners and lighter towards the middle. And this is going to give us a nice transition shade all over the eye, just giving my eye some dimension. My eyes are shaped and a little bit hooded, so you'll see me doing some different techniques that I have picked up over the years to make my eyes look more almond shaped, bigger, and all those things. Then we are going to grab this Kylie Cosmetics brush and it's more like a like a rounded flat brush. It's really nice and fluffy. A little bit of Poet, this berry shade right here and I am going to use that all over my lid and I am very lightly grabbing a little bit of product because these shades are really pigmented. I don't want it to be too intense. I want to be able to build it up. So we've got that. And I'm going to use the residual of this color and I'm going to start buffing it into my crease just a little bit, just to bring this color a little bit higher. I love this color. Very nice. I'm going to leave this brush around here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit of story right here and I'm going to use that in my outer, outer corner. Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab some of Ritual with the Kiko angled brush and I'm just going to gently tap it on this color and I'm going to use it on the corner and I'm going to blend it in a minute. So right now it's going to look just like a spot right there. That is precisely what I want. And then we are going to grab this Morphe R34 blending brush. And I'm just going to buff that into this corner right here just to deepen it up. We're going to grab a little bit more of Soothe, the color that I used for my transition shade. We're going to buff that along with Ritual. So I need a little bit more of Ritual with the darker color in this corner. Go back to blending. What I really like about these shades is the fact that they all blend so well. And if you haven't learned anything about me seeing the very few makeup videos that I have done, you'll know that I love smoky eyes. So I'm trying to figure out, I already like how this is looking. So I'm wondering how I can make it look even better. And I think I'm gonna go with the sequin shade of Poet right here, the second line. And I'm going to use this Wet n Wild flat top brush and I'm just gonna grab a little bit of Poet. That is actually a lot. But I'm going to use this at the middle of the color to intensify it a little bit. Sorry if I'm going like all the way to the side. I'm trying to maximize my light. 
and it's funny because I can't close my right eye unless I'm touching it so I can only actually close my right eye I can't do my left nice go ahead and grab a little bit more oh that looks amazing that looks great i might need to embarrass myself on youtube and try to put winged eyeliner which always takes me forever because i am awful at it i'm gonna go back to my morphe r34 blending brush i'm going to grab again a little bit of soothe and we are going to blend 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 So I like how that turned out. And now we are going to use the met either the metallic or the glitter. I'm gonna swatch both of them to kind of see which one I like better. So these are the two. So this is the metallic and this is the glitter. I think I'm gonna use both actually. I have all of my brushes here. I'm gonna grab this small eye brush. I think that's what it's called from Wet n Wild. And we are going to saturate it in the metallic and we're gonna use it like right in the inner part of the eye. We're gonna do the same in the other eye. Now, with my finger, because Tati in her video said the best way to use these glitters is with your finger. Unfortunately, I don't have any glitter glue, but I am going to dip into Poet in the glitter version here, and then I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap my eye. What do you guys think? I actually really like how this is turning out. I am so excited. So I'm gonna also talk you through a few different things that I do. So we're gonna go back to the Morphe R34 and we are going to blend just a little bit of this art area right here. I think I need a little bit more glitter on this side. I love it. We are going to go ahead and have me attempt to do liquid eyeliner. I think I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Tip Eyeliner that I have right here. So that actually didn't turn out bad at all. It could be a little bit more even. Okay, so this side, not as great as this side, but again, I'm not a makeup guru, I'm not an expert, and I suck at doing my winged eyeliner, but I really like how that turned out. I'm gonna use my Kiko Collar Kajal pen that I used last time. I'm gonna do my waterline. I love how we all have our little makeup things. I'm also going to use, I got this LA Beauty, LA Beaut Fatale Brow Fix Tint and Shaper. I got this in an Ipsy bag. So we are going to use the more on brow. And I'm also really bad at like filling in my brows. I feel like this it makes it very, very easy. Simple, and I'm gonna use this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Pumping Mascara with Hyaluronic Acid. It's really hydrating. I got this in like PR from Brand Backer last year. So then on top of that, I'm gonna use the Benefit Roller Lash. Now we're gonna finish this eye makeup with um, putting some color on the waterline. And I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild brush. It's like very, very short. And I'm just going to dip it in Poet in the sequin. And we are going to press it under the waterline. And again on the other side. Okay, so then I'm gonna grab other like really thin brush from Kylie Cosmetics and I'm just gonna grab a little bit of Soothe, the tiniest bit, and I'm gonna buff this out. Ooh, I love how this is turning out. And that is this eye look. So now let's complete my makeup because I had only done like powder and bronzer. So I'm gonna use this Pixie by Petra uh, blush that I got in Ipsy Bag in Whisper Pink. I am so sad because I just realized that during my last travel, it seems like this got a little bit shaken and it became full powder or in the corners, but I have a lot here and I'm just gonna tap it make it less clumpy so then there's not that much and it's a really nice ink for now spring and summer it's really nice and rosy and soft i think i might put a little bit of my clinique iced lotus on top just because this one's got a little bit of a shimmer 
that makes it perfect. I'm gonna grab my e.l.f. blush brush, which is this really nice tapered blush brush that I use exclusively for my highlight and I'm using my Smashbox Pearl palette and I always like tap on these to tap off the excess. I like to put it on top of my cheekbones. A little bit on my nose. We have eye makeup. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab this elf brush that I have here and we are going to grab a little bit of this one right here and we are using it on the brow bone to like highlight that area and then to give it the final touch grab this kylie cosmetics little or tap brush and i am going to go back into the textured neutrals palette and we're going to go into the metallic aura and we are using it on the inside i'm gonna grab a little bit of this one too I'm going to use the same lip as last time, so I'm using the Nudist Peach Wet n Wild lip with the Ofra Smiley for Riley lip gloss. We are done done. You may have noticed that I have a, like, a little blemish here. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I couldn't find my green corrector. That's why I couldn't use that. But here is the final one. So that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you liked it. Let me know your thoughts on the Tati Texture Neutrals palette, what your favorite color is. I'll be doing a review soon, but again, this is the palette. I used all of these Poet colors and textures. And I absolutely love how this look turned out. I have been dying to make like a pink pinkish look. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. Give this video a big thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm if you liked it. Hit me with a comment, share this video with your friends, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to follow me on social media and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.